Welcome to Fun Size Fiction. Treat your ears with tiny tales, written and read by Renee Canolti. That's me. And here's this week's story. Ambush. I lay frozen in place, belly in the dirt, tense fingers gripping the rifle. Greasy black and brown and green paint was smeared over my cheeks, slathered on my forehead and swiped down my nose. My hair was set into place with red dust and sweat, a stronger hold than my regular gel. Every inch of my skin was covered in brown or green or something in between. Sweat pooled on my back as the sun beat down, soaking my shirt. The weight of the pack pressed my body further into the dirt, making it difficult to breathe. Six weeks' worth of body odour wafted on the slight breeze, so pervasive that it didn't register any more. There was no time for showers. There were no showers even if there was time, and only so much you can do with a wet wipe. Time ticked by, silently. Another soldier to the left raised his hand and signalled, time to move closer. To ambush, or to be ambushed. On three, we all move forward, painstakingly slow. Bodies taut, raised on elbows and toes. My combat boots dug into the earth as I levered myself forward. Hand raised. Halt. Wait. Then the chopping signal we'd been waiting for. Go, go, go! Contact! Once the dust settled, we all gathered to debrief. Well done, team. You completed the training mission without detection. Next time we go out, Bush, I won't underestimate you, the sergeant said. Break camp. We're heading home. We sat thigh to thigh, packed in the back of the troop carrier. After a couple of hours driving, I checked my phone again. One bar of service flickered on the screen. I opened the text messaging app. Hey babe, we're all done and I'm on the way home. Give the kids a hug for me and tell them mummy will be there when they wake up. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this story, hit subscribe so you don't miss my next fun size fiction. You can find out more about me and my writing on my website, heysaidrene.blogspot.com.